All right, you made it to the video. If you are watching this, then I want to say congratulations because you are actually considering becoming a physician. That means you're in medical school, you're retaking your boards, etc. So congratulations, it's a long road, it's difficult, but you're doing it, so congratulations, honestly. If you don't know me, my name is Dr. Facundo Gonzalez. I'm an emergency physician in New York. And I want to start making these videos for step one and I'll be making review videos as well so if you're new to the channel subscribe it helps me a lot also like if you like the video and that way YouTube knows that this is content worth showing to other students if it helped you so thank you it's free it helps me thank you so much so in this video I'm going to cover a uh, few things, I'm going to cover resources for step one studying, tips that I think are valuable, and then I'm going to cover some things about questions, question banks, etc. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. So number one, resources. I would say one of the most valuable resources that I can think of that you would use during your dedicated study time period as well as during your learning in medical school is Pathoma. Pathoma is an amazing resource. I'm talking about Pathoma by Dr. Hussein Sattar. Uh, he's a pathologist. Um, you will need the videos plus the book. I actually still have my book. I'll put a picture here but I have my book actually from back in 2016 reading all over so I do recommend it it's so valuable it, you just learn how to think how to derive answers not just memorize which is uh, so valuable all right number two is sketchy I would say Sketchy Medical, which you have Sketchy Farm, Sketchy Micro. At the time when I was going to school, there was no Sketchy Pathology. Now I think there's Sketchy Path. This mainly helps if you're a visual learner, but I think this resource is so valuable. Again, the things I'm recommending are things that I truly believed and used. And of course, none of these people are paying me anything. Uh, no sponsors, I'm not that important. So. A sketchy is so good because you can actually watch the videos a couple times, take some notes, and you can truly in your mind go back and visualize the, the conditions, the pharmacology, and it makes it so much easier to learn difficult topics like microbiology. So, UWorld, uh, it is known that you have to use UWorld, it's just the thing, everybody uses UWorld. So, for your dedicated study time period, just use UWorld. You know, you've seen it before. Also, I want to recommend Anki. I'm sure most of you have run into it, have used it, or seen other videos regarding Anki. Anki is this basically this flashcard application which uses space repetition in order to present information to you and see if you can recall the information. And if you can't, they'll give it to you in 10 minutes if you got it and it was easy, you can, they'll give it to you in three days or they'll give it to you tomorrow. And just like that, they'll be presenting the information that you need the most review on. There's other videos out there about how to use Sankey, but that's a source I recommend. Lastly, YouTube. Subscribe. So YouTube, basically when I was studying, I would go on YouTube and type congenital heart conditions, uh, um, adrenal gland physiology and you can find many great videos out there on YouTube and I'll be making some of those videos myself from now on and I think that's a great resource you can find good professor teachers out there teaching their stuff for free on YouTube so I think that's a resource you should always look into okay so those were resources I'm trying to make this quick and to the point and you can always put questions and comments below and I'll answer them for sure okay study tips okay I recommend uh, 
you first of all enjoying your journey in medical school learning the material while you are in medical school that way the more you learn something now and you truly capture the essence of it the less you have to study later on so do things one and do it well so the more you retain now the least you have to study tomorrow so that would be an advice that try not to blow stuff off or just learn for the sake of passing a test always live in awe of the glorious mechanism of the human body let that be the focus of your studies and not a quest for grades but if you have the time try to really truly learn the material okay number two when you do question banks what i recommend is always whenever you do questions do them timed and random meaning do it time in like timed you are under time because a lot of problems that people face is timing during questions and i don't know in my case maybe english being a second language it affects my timing i can't read as fast so for me i always do time so i can train myself to always do it timed and get used to the timing and do questions fast number two random do questions random meaning random topics don't just do neurology one day or the entire month then cardiology the next day the reason why i recommend this is because you need to train your brain for the exam because let's say you're in school studying cardiology you're gonna go home and do 10 questions on cardiology and your brain already knows this is a cardiology question and you just study cardiology so the chance of you getting the material right pretty high but can you answer that same question six months from now that's my point that same cardiology question six months from now you may not be able to answer it that's why if you do things timed and random you'll have like a generalized approach to all the material throughout your study time so that's what i recommend personally and in regards to anki i have my own little type of anki method that i use that i'll probably do another video on that is how i personally study i create this the not know notebooks I'm to have one for emergency medicine now and literally says em did not know and i have a bunch of information in the book and basically i'll go into it but basically you write all the information as if it was an anki flashcard different bullet points and then you periodically review the material starting from page one that way the rate of retention is bigger than the rate of forgetting because there's so much material that it is normal to forget but if you keep recalling information over time you'll retain a lot okay i hope this video helped you in some way this is the resources i used so please let me know uh subscribe so you can get all these videos and I'll put probably up there in the white line some recommendations, video blogs, if you want to be an emergency physician, etc. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Adios.